Hey guys, another Demo Slot Reviews here, and this is the first video of the week of videos that I was going to do. And we have got the Classic Rallycross Limited Edition set. Product code is C3267A, and it's a limited edition set of two cars for out of 3,000 um, of these were made. And my number is 2986. So it's one of the latest ones, you know, one of the last ones to be ever be produced. So this is quite a nice set. Saw it on eBay for forty-five pound with a seven pound postage. So it was about fifty-two, fifty-three quid in the end. And I saw it, and I just thought I had to have it just to do a review because I don't do very many rally cars for you guys. And I know that some of you are fans of rally, and some of you will be very familiar with this rally cross set. And those that are viewing it probably would have known the drivers and would have, you know probably have wanted me to do this set review so I thought you know I'll do the set review so we've got the revered Ford RS200 of Martin Scanchi I hope I've said that right Sanche um, I probably said that wrong but he's a Finnish driver I believe and we've got Will Gollop who is a British driver so we're gonna have a look if we take this off now, the Ford RS200. I have done a review on the Ford RS200 before, but um, I didn't do a test drive on it, so it's quite good that I've got this because this will be my test drive car. Now, the set is 89, no, not 89, 84.99, so it's not £90, which the limited edition sets would normally be. But the reason is, these cars, although high detail, don't actually have lights on them. and I thought that was quite interesting. I had to make sure I checked it before I did the video to make sure that it's actually true. And it is, they're completely, they don't have any lights in them. So you've got a detailed body on a lightless chassis, which is quite good in the sense that you won't have any power being sucked out by the lights. Not that it makes much of a difference, but maybe in digital it does. We still got the digital plug ready. So that's a good feature of the car. And another feature of the car is the weathered effect. So you've got the weathered uh, windscreen there and you've got a bit of dirt all over the car. And it's not gone overkill, which is also quite nice because I want to, you know, I like cars that are weathered not too much, which this isn't. And this has got, you can still tell it's a white car, not just a light brown one. So I like that and I like the weathered effect and they've done a good job on that one. Now here, would I think, is the, here is the real Gollop one. And this is a brand new car. It's quite a recent car from Skeletrix, but it's a very nice one, and I actually quite like the look of it. And it's quite a boxy, chunky looking thing, but I really, really like the looks of it, and I think it's pretty decent. And it looks like it would actually be a well handling car. Again, it's um, got a DPS because it's a new one, so they've made them all digital plug ready, which is good. And they've made it so you can, and the they made it so you can turn them into digital cards, which is quite good, and race them against each other. And it even says now on the bottom, made in China, uh, Met MG Metro 6R4. So, and it should say on the bottom of the Ford, where there it is, Ford RS200. So, both these cars would have 18,000 rev motors as standard in Skeletric cars. And they're both sidewinders. They're not direct inline drive. And they've even got tread on the wheels. So you wouldn't really be able to um, wouldn't be able to sand the tyres on these and I wouldn't really suggest sanding them uh, I think the wind mirrors could potentially come off they look a bit fragile on these ones so if you were to race it I would suggest being really careful and I also quite like the fact that they've only got the one driver in they haven't been lazy and they've actually taken the driver out and not put two in and again with the Will Gollops car you've got just the one driver in there and I actually like the real Gollop colour scheme, and I really like the Ford, but I would say the, the, the Gollop, Gollop's car is probably slightly nicer out of the two. Um, it's a, again down to your personal choice, some of you might prefer the Ford to the Metro. But uh, yeah, these are very nicely, fantastically detailed cars, and I definitely think it's worth the money. And also there's quite a few sort of on eBay, they don't really sell for the full price, so you could get one quite cheap and that'd be quite good. They've gone to the extent of putting the blood type as well, so O plus on his car, and you can 
you know they've really done a very good job on these cars and I think it's a fantastic little set so we're just you know there's definitely a lot to look at in these cars and there's definitely a lot of detail I and mean, you've got the mud flaps I like that and um, you've got the, the lights are even r properly coloured over they've really gone and they've really done so much fine detail on those cars and there's even shell on the lights because obviously the lights they don't use them in rallycross so they've got the shell ones and that is I really think that's good commitment and good um, car making there now we move on to the box the box has some writing on it and uh, can't zoom in really because it might uh, try well, I'll read it out anyway it says towards the end of the group B era of international rallycross <clears throat> the draws between real gollop and Martin uh, Sanchez oh, I don't know how to say it Ford RS200 have passed into motorsport legend two of the closest sports seasons in the European rallycross championship produced a title piece for the pair so they both are championships uh, championship winners the Norwegian Oh, sorry, I said he was from Finland, but he's actually Norwegian. Uh, winning through the 1991 when Gollop's challenge was ended by a huge crash in the penultimate event. Then later, um, Martin described the 91 title as his hardest run of his six championships. So he, he was quite a decent driver and he won cr quite a fair few races um, and championships, Martin did, in his Ford RS200. And... The following year, Gollop turned the tables on Mr. Rallycross, as he was known as. But again, there was great drama because Martin received a two-race ban after stopping the finish round, stopping the finish round of the championship by standing in the trap. So, some of you that are more familiar with the history of the sport would know what that's all about. And then um, he put a substitute in his car uh, substitute drivers in his Ford RS200 to in a bid to stop Gollop from scoring points and then the battle raged on and then when he when Martin or Mr Rallycross returned in the summer um, Gollop finally put his name on the to the crown the Englishman had the added satisfaction of doing so in Norway which was Gollop's not Gollop's Mr Rallycross and Martin's home Grand Prix home race uh, I'm not saying his last name because I don't want to embarrass myself. So, for many fans, the Group B era, 1982 to 1992, remains one of the golden, um, golden moments in uh, rallycross history. And the Gollop, the real Gollop, and the Martin Sanchez, uh, Sanchez, it's not Sanchez, remains a very good and very sort of best, one of the best rivalries in the sport. Skeletrix obviously knew about this and they paired up the two and they've done a fantastic job with these cars and I, I really like them. They've really grown on me and I'm really looking forward to test driving them both. Pretty much, and more so than the Metro and if they both handle very well, I may be convinced to be, you know, look out for more of these Metros and stuff and more of the Fords and hopefully, you know, it will all work out and I'll be able to do a bit more. If you'd like to see more of this, I've put up a video for me to, you know, help me become the official product reviewer of the Skeletric products. So if you really want to see this, uh, the best way to do that would be to go onto that video and comment on it and to say that you'd like that to happen. I'm trying to gather as many signatures as I can before the end of the year and I've, I keep emailing them about it and hopefully I'll get some replies soon. And um, for all you fans of the Rally Cross cars, Keep uh, stay tuned because tomorrow we will be doing the test drive of Mr. Rallycross's Ford RS200, and the reason I'm doing that one first is because uh, it's number one, so there's no bias there. I just decided to do that one first, and then we've got on Wednesday coming Will Gollop's test drive as well. We've also got a few other test drives to come as well. We've got the um, Adrian Norman Mini to test drive and we've got two McLarens, the road car versions to test drive as well so we've got quite a few videos to come in the coming days and yeah that's it so please like, share this video, comment and subscribe as well if you've got a YouTube account if not don't worry about it, I still appreciate the views and please stay tuned thanks for watching 
and rate 